All right, ladies and germs, this is your old pal CHH. I've got my coffee. It is 1 a.m. And I'm on graveyards. And I want to talk to you guys about, you know, this, this, there was a lot of reaction I got when I talked about these reports. Nothing that we can truly confirm right now, but there are these reports that the Elm Street remake is going to be the Elm Street film to hit 4K first. And what I think the repercussions of this could be, I just want to have a talk to you guys about this. I think we need to talk about this. Um, let's just assume this is true. But before that, let's go back to what we talked about before. Now, I did a video on this before, and I typically don't like to just make fluff piece videos. Like, it's not myself. This is Elm Street, so it's it's kind of a different situation because it really is my favorite. If you're new to the channel, I have a whole wall dedicated to Elm Street. I love it. You know... This is very important to me, and I think it's important to you watching this. You know, the last time we talked about an update with A Nightmare on Elm Street with physical media, it was a website we looked at, and the video's up right now if you want to see it. We did it a month a month or so ago. The report was that, you know, Warner Brothers were emailing some of their biggest patrons and customers about movies they would be interested in on remastered high definition 4k and one of the questions was their thoughts on elm street you have to assume that that ranked incredibly high probably the highest out of anything besides uh i don't know what was terminator on the list or that might have been a different i think people were just saying that needs to be on 4k as well i don't know if that was warner brothers or not probably not but regardless of that you know, that was very promising. And as a matter of fact, in the article that we read from that website, it actually said that they asked the patrons the Elm Street films, plural, plural, okay? So that gave us some notion that, okay, maybe Warner Brothers is testing to see the excitement on getting the, the movies in high definition and not necessarily one or two or maybe just the first release you know we've been we've been talking about this for so long and again i i'm not in a position where i can say the person that told me this but if you're a fan of the channel you probably can put two and two together in case you might not have seen the other videos i, I mentioned this the word was that somebody was that was working on the box set for scream factory at one time pre-covid was getting guests from the movies, bringing them to the hotels and doing like the formal interviews for new features, setting up, you know, everything to record interviews and, and like for the for a box set. And then at a certain point they were told, never mind, stop all production. Don't don't book any more guests for interviews. Don't book anything. Don't work on anything. Stop. This was around 2018, 2019. Uh, now, again, I can't say that that legitimately happened, but somebody that supposedly was working on it, told a very good friend of mine, and then I found this out. So, uh, again, I cannot say this was legitimate or not, but I, you know, it sounded like it was something that was happening. So, that went away. We never heard anything about it. I think at one point on an Instagram Live, there, the Scream Factory was actually even asked about Elm Street, and they said, we uh, don't have any license for that at this time. Very, very vague answer. You would think these companies would be able to be honest with their customers about this stuff. I don't understand why everything is so, like, like I don't, I do not understand why these companies refuse to answer and be open about this. You think if 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 Scream Factory would come out and say, "Here's why we can't get Elm Street," a lot of us may not like the answer, but at least we'd know. At least we would know. The mystery about this is the most frustrating thing of all. We the fans are left in the dark with this crap. Anyway, so we had a glimmer of hope with that article that we talked about, and, you know, we were hoping maybe this would be the year, not only for part one, but possibly a, a bigger release. Maybe they'll do some sort of anniversary stuff where they'll do part one this year, part two next year, which would be a pain in the ass, because uh, if you look at Paramount, what they were doing with the, with the Steelbooks, they eventually just said, screw it, just put three and four out early. We don't have to wait for the, we don't have to wait for the anniversary next year, because the, the anniversary for Jason, uh, Friday the 13th final chapter should be happening very soon. So that still book should have been coming out right about now. But they did that, I think, two years ago. So Paramount's like, screw anniversaries, just get the crap out there, which I appreciate. So that video was done. There was a lot of, you know, positive thoughts. People were like, hey, we got to be getting part one this year. We have to. This is good news, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Well, uh, maybe last week we started seeing these reports of the Elm Street remake is coming to 4K. Um, and 
the interesting thing about this is what this means. Could this possibly mean that the first Elm Street movie to come out on high definition is going to be the 2010 movie? There's a lot of repercussions that could come from this. Number one, just in terms of looking at a movie that can be restored in 4K UHD or to 4K UHD, um, this would be the last movie I would be excited about. Forget, forget the idea of liking the movie or not. I mean, we're talking about a 2010 movie. Now, that's not to say that movies from this time can't look great. One of the best examples, and this is actually a movie six years prior, was Dawn of the Dead 04. That 4K, if you haven't gotten that from Scream Factory, I beyond highly recommend that 4K. It looks sensational. It's just really good. Let me get a sip real quick. So just on a technical standpoint, that's the least exciting one to look at in a 4K. I mean, when you look at the Elm Street films, they literally came out in this perfect bubble of time, 84 to 94. Uh, and they were these great movies that were shot on film. They were done with all practical effects. It's literally like the Elm Street remake, the Elm Street films, the irony of this whole thing is the Elm Street films are legitimately made to be seen in 4K, I feel, because everything was done with the best makeup artists at the time. There were such beautiful sets built for these movies. The look of Freddy, just the idea of seeing Freddy in 4K, it's it's a no-brainer. Not only was Freddy the house, what not only was New York the house that Freddy built, but you almost would think Freddy would be the format for 4K to to push sales for New Line. Like this is insanity new line warner brothers I, I know that they're they're all in one now they bought them so if i interchange the names I, I apologize but the idea that the elm street remake could be the first one this could be disastrous because not only uh would the reviews probably probably be middling to bad in terms of this but this is gotta the remake doesn't have the best reputation and then you also have to wonder this now I'm not personally going to do this. Let's say this is going to happen. Let's say that the remake for Elm Street is, in fact, going to be the first movie to come out in 4K. I'm not going to protest it myself. I understand the anger people would have for that. But if that's a barometer for the interest of Elm Street and it doesn't do too well, that could really screw us. Um, and again, I'm not going to tell you what to do. You watching this are a grown-ass adult. If you don't want to buy this, if this comes out first, I'm not going to be upset. If you do... I'm not going to be happy either. I just I just know what I'm going to do. If it does happen, I mean, I guess I'll buy it. And if it is a barometer, what a shitty way to handle this. I'm not saying this is happening, but if this is true, because these reports, a lot of times, I've seen them come to fruition that these people come out with. There's a few people that seemingly are in the inside that get information like this stuff. And I've seen like like Dawn of the Discs, for instance. They they called they called the Friday box, and I even know Screen Factory was pissed about that. That that Dawn of the Disc broke the news before they did. Uh, I think they even blocked Dawn of the Disc. Screen Factory did, but I mean, look, if the word gets out, the word gets out. Like, what's the big deal? People went ape shit over that. They were so excited. So this could this could be somewhat disastrous. Um, to do this because I, I feel like there's going to be a sector of the horror phys slash physical media fan base that would find this to literally be the dumbest thing you could possibly do to release the Elm Street remake first on 4K. And it's like if you would do a poll of which Elm Street movie should come out on 4K first, I dare say this would be not only last but probably come in at under 10%. Uh, I think if Freddy's Dead got announced, like, randomly, hey, we're going to do Freddy's Dead on 4K first, people would be scratching their heads, but they would be like, well, you know, it's going to be cool to see, you know, that movie in 4K. It's shot on film. It's a classic Elm Street film. I, this whole thing, I can't wait to look back at these videos and hopefully laugh at them, right? I can't wait for all of us to be able to look back at all this and see all this stuff. And I, I I'm, I'm hoping that this video comes out to be totally false and the prospect of an Elm Street 4K remake coming out first is wrong but you know what it, the truth is guys it really wouldn't surprise me that's how stupid this whole thing has been um, the fact that they haven't released these movies for so long is beyond asinine um, it's beyond asinine I mean, and, and, and for, for Warner Brothers to try to say like okay if they're in a situation where they don't know if these films would sell on 4K you have to be living under a rock. 
these movies, ha- there's not been an Elm Street film for so long, yet it stays so relevant in pop culture that the biggest show on effing television, well, streaming, Stranger Things, did a whole season that was basically a Nightmare on Elm Street. The whole freaking thing. And then they even had Freddy himself in it, and the people went ballistic for it. I went ballistic for it seeing Robert in there. So I pray to God this is not going to happen. But if it does, my point is this could be disastrous. If this is some sort of barometer that they go for, this could be the worst decision Warner Brothers could make when it comes to releasing these films. Um, I still think the sales would be pretty strong just because even the people that may say, you know what, F this, by the time it may come out, they would say whatever and just get it out of just aggravation of not having any Elm Street on high definition. But for God's sake, Warner Brothers, if you're listening, because you never know who's watching, I'm begging you, the fans watching this are begging you, put these damn movies out on high definition. I'm hoping this is the last video I ever make about wondering what's going on with these films. I really do. I don't want to make videos like this anymore. I want to make videos talking about the announcement and reviewing them and us, the fans, enjoying them. Literally, the time is now. I feel like 2024 is going to be possibly one of the biggest years for high-definition physical media, and Freddy needs to be there for the 40th anniversary. We still have time. It's March, but we're almost at the end of the first quarter, and you think we would be hearing some stuff from... um, the source, meaning Warner Brothers, by now. Hopefully, hopefully, like I said, this is the last video of hearsay or uh, speculation that I have to make. But uh, I'd make these videos because, like I said, you never know who could hear this video. And I want that person to know that it could be of interest to them. We need the Elm Street films on 4K, specifically the original 84 to 94 films. Please do it. Don't put the Elm Street remake out first. This has nothing to do with whether I like the film or not. This has everything to do with what I think the sales projections would be just for the 4K format itself. It makes zero sense. Zero sense. So hopefully, guys, this is false, these reports, and we don't, and it, 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 and it doesn't happen to be the first film to come out. But if it does, I'm just warning you, this could be disastrous for the Elm Street films on physical media. I hope this is uh, not going to be the case. But I did want to talk about it and let you guys know where my head is at and my thoughts on all this. Sound off down below, guys. If you have any inkling of an idea of what's going on, make an anonymous page and comment down below. That way you can share whatever you know. Or if you don't care and you do know something, please drop it down below. Here's to hoping this is not only going to be a a year that we get some Elm Streets on 4K, but the best Elm Streets on 4K, which means pretty much 80 80 through 94. All those I could not be more more than happy to see on high definition 4K UHD. So there we go, guys. This is Real Pal CHH. Just I needed to riff and talk to you guys tonight. Let me know your thoughts on all this and what are your th- how are you feeling about the prospect of possibly the remake coming out first? I don't know, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time, hopefully with some really good news. Huge giant thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. Without you guys, this would not be possible. To get behind the scenes photos, videos, music, private live streams, and much more, you can subscribe to my Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. Thank you to my patrons. Thank you.